and girls, and welcome back to virtual art class. This week, we're going to be talking about our colors. All right. Now, what I have drawn on the board for you right here is called the color wheel. Now, it's pretty easy to know why it's called the color wheel. It's because it has all of our colors in it, and it's in the shape of a wheel. Now, boys and girls, this color wheel is super cool because it's organized all of our colors. Something is organized, that means it's really easy to read and to understand. So let's go through all of our colors together. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Let's do that one more time. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Very good. All right, and all of the colors on this side, red, orange, and yellow, are called our warm colors. Now, our warm colors kind of remind us of fire, right? Because fire keeps us nice and warm. And all the colors on this side are called our cool colors. Now, when you see green, blue, and purple, I want you to think of something really cold. Something like winter time, like snow, ice, something nice and cool. So we have our cool colors and our warm colors. Now, we are gonna be using all of these colors today and we're gonna learn a little bit about color mixing. So right now, I want everyone to pause and we are going to read and watch our book for today, which is called Mouse Paint. It is a very cute book and I can't wait for you guys to see it. All right, let's jump over and click that link and then I will be back so we can do our project together. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our Mouse Paint book. And now we are gonna start our drawing for this week and it's gonna be inspired by the book we just read together, okay? Now remember, we're gonna be using the same things that we've learned the past two weeks, right? So we've learned about lines and we learned about shapes. We're gonna be using both of those today when we're learning about color, okay? So this drawing is gonna be about mouse paint the book, okay? So first things first, I want everybody to get their pencil. And remember, I have a black marker just so you can see it. You do not have to use this, okay? All right, let's get started. So the first thing we are gonna do for our mouse paint drawing is I want you to draw six circles all on your piece of paper, okay? You need to make them about the same size too because if you make them really different sizes, these are going to be the bodies of our mice, and we don't want them to be too big of different sizes. All right, so the first thing is I'm just going to start right here, and I'm just going to draw me a little circle. Ooh. Now, we've practiced drawing our shapes last week, so we should be pretty good at drawing our circles at this point. Okay, that's one done. Now we need to add five more. All right, so I'm gonna move over a little bit and let me draw another circle about the same size. There we go, all right. I'm gonna draw another one down here. See how I'm kind of spreading them out and making sure there's enough room? This circle turned out a little big, that's okay. All right, we've got three circles done. Let's draw three more. I'm gonna move down here a little bit and draw another circle. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move over, draw another circle. All right, how many circles do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five. We need to draw one more circle and I've got left just enough space right here Draw me a nice big circle. All right, boys and girls, now we have our first six circles drawn out. So these are gonna be the bodies of our mice. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna draw triangles 
on our circles. And I know we practiced how to draw triangles last week, so I know y'all know how to do them. All right, so what we're gonna do is, like, I'm gonna start with this circle up here. I'm gonna draw a triangle right at the bottom right here, because I don't really have enough space at the top to draw one. So I'm gonna just draw a little triangle right next to my circle. And this is gonna be the mouse's head. All right, and I'm gonna do that to all my other circles. This one right here, I'm gonna draw my triangle a little bit more to the side so I have enough room. And I'm gonna do all my circles and give them all little triangle heads. And I'm trying to make sure that they're all pointing in the same direction. See how they're all gonna kinda of be looking at each other? That's what you want. All right, let's go over and add two more triangles. One, two. Okay. All right, boys and girls, we have the bodies and heads of all of our mice. All right, I think the next thing we should do is why don't we draw the face? So I'm going to use a bit of a smaller tip on this. And we need to add two eyes on all of our triangles for the mouse's eyes, okay? So right here, I'm just gonna do two little dots just right there. So the point of the triangle right here, that is gonna be the nose. So the eyes need to be towards the bigger part of the triangle. All right, and I'm gonna give eyes to all of my mice. One, two. And like I said, I'm making them sure that I'm towards the bigger part of the triangle that's where their face is. The bottom part is going to be their nose. Okay, and now I have eyes on all of my mice. Okay, now the next thing we should do, let's go ahead and add a nose, shall we? Let's go ahead and add a nose. So at the very tip of our triangle, right here, I'm gonna draw a pretty big circle right on the tip. That is gonna be the nose. Let me get a little bit closer so y'all can see. I'm working pretty small right now. Do you see this one right here? I have added the nose, the very, very tip of the triangle. I'm gonna do that same thing on all of my other mice. And then I'll get a little bit closer so you can see too. Okay, I've added noses on all of my mice. I'm gonna pull you up so you can see. There we go. All right, we're not done yet. We have a few more things to add. Mice have little whiskers on their faces. So let's add, those are gonna look like a little lines. So I'm gonna take my tip again and I'm gonna draw one, two, three, four. Four lines on my mice. You can see that one. You see his little whiskers? Those are his little mouse whiskers. I'm gonna add that same thing to all of my other mice, okay? One, two, three, four. So each mouse should have four whiskers, two on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, there it is. Now all of my mice have their little whiskers, but looks like my mice are missing something. Can you tell what it is? Can you tell what they're missing? They're missing their tails. We need to add our mice tails, okay. So the tail is gonna be really easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little swiggly line on the end of our mice. Okay, I'm gonna take my pen and we practiced drawing these lines before. I'm just gonna do a little squiggly line just like that And there. Now he has a little tail. Let's add it to all of our other mice. Let's add a little squiggly tail. Oh, <laughs> you can't really see this one just because of the clamp on my easel. That's okay. All right, now we have all of our tails done. There we go. Okay, our mice are done and now it is time to color. Don't they look so cute? Okay, here is what you're gonna do. You need to get five colors out. You need red, orange, yellow, no, six colors. <laughs> Green, blue, and purple. I have all of my colors already pulled out right here. Let me show them to you. There you go. These are the colors you are going to need. 
Now, if you don't have these exact colors with you right now, don't worry about it. It's okay. Use any colors that you have. But if you have these six colors, these are the ones I would like you to use, okay? So we're just really working with, with blah, 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 blah. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> we're just working with what we got, okay? I don't know why that was so hard to say. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my red color and I'm gonna color this mouse right at the top. I'm gonna color him red. So I'm gonna color his whole body nice and red. And remember, we are coloring inside the lines and we being super careful. We are not scribbling because we want our work to look nice and neat. I'm coloring my whole little circle in for his body. Should I color the face? Let's go ahead and color the face. I'll add some color to his head. There we go. All right. Our first mouse is done. There he is. All right, now we're gonna move on to our next color. I'm gonna put my red down and pick up my orange color. All right, so I'm gonna move over one and I'm gonna do this one orange. All right, ready? Doing the same thing, making sure it's really nice and neat. Making sure I do a good job of coloring inside the lines. All right, now let's color his head really quickly and our orange mouse will be done. All right, now we are done with orange. We put that down and let's pick up our yellow. And we're doing the same thing. All right, our yellow mouse is done. We're gonna put our yellow down, but I want everyone to pause for a quick second and look at these three colored mice that we have just drawn. Now, does anyone remember, what do we call these group of colors? Red, orange, and yellow. Remember, we think of these colors, we think of fire, right? And what is fire? It's warm, right? And it's hot. These are our warm colors all right next to each other. Isn't that great? There we go. Perfect, okay. Now let's jump on over to our cool colors. Let's pick up our green right here and let's move over and let's color our green mouse. All right, our green mouse is done. We'll put our green down and we'll pick up our blue color. Ooh, I just burped. <laughs> Ooh, all right, let's color in our blue mouse. There we go, our blue mouse is done. It's time to color in our last mouse and we pick up our purple and let us color our last mouse together. Okay. All right, boys and girls, that is it. We have colored in all of our mice. All right, so let me hold this up for you. Let's see our finished work. Ta-da! Doesn't that look so cute? And doesn't this look like something we just talked about earlier? Here, let me show you. Okay, these are our mice. And don't they look exactly like the color wheel we just talked about? Isn't that so fun? Look, it looks just alike. I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. All right, we are done. Let me put that down. It's just so I can give you all a round of applause. Good job. We have finished our project for this week. All right, I had so much fun with you and I can't wait to see your finished drawings. All right, remember to post them onto Schoology and remember to save everything you make with me, okay? Because everything that you make with me is important. 
okay? All right, guys, I will see you next week. Bye!